Hey guys, Josh Young here, created the DVRT Ultimate Sandbag Core Training Systems, along with my good friend Troy Anderson of Alpha Kettlebell. We wanted to put together a really simple but powerful workout for you, one that works on a lot of the different important aspects of learning to move well in DVRT. So it's going to be a simple series that goes 12, 10, 8, 6. We're going to work a lot on you resisting forces, a lot on building some foundational strength. So what we're going to begin is six alternating uh, max lunges with a heavier load. So all this is meant to be done with a moderate to heavier load. So real nice and slow. Troy's going to work on opening up the hip, resisting the motion through his trunk, loading those obliques, driving up to his hips. You could pause for a longer count if you wanted to, but you're going to do six each side. Then with as minimal rest as possible, we're going to do 10 clean and press. So you're going to clean, bring it to position, press overhead. If you can do it without push pressing, that would be ideal. Here we're resisting extension, we're resisting flexion in that uh, clean position. So that would be 10. Now what we're gonna do is eight rows. So again, we're now gonna hold that stable plank position, work on our hip hinging, really trying to see if we can have scapular control and the movement of the ultimate sandbag up and down really challenges the core to resist that flexion. The six is gonna be back up in that front load position. And then we're going to do six front load good morning. So again, working now on working dynamic hip extension, hip extend back, pulling the weight in towards the body and standing tall. So you want to come up by pushing through the feet, extending the hip fully and getting nice and tall in position. And relax, Troy. So you would go ahead and do that. You'd rest 30 seconds to a minute. You're going to see how many rounds of that you can do in 20 minutes. Like I said, you don't want to pick up a 20 pound ultimate sandbag unless for you that's challenging. You want to have something that's a little heavier in mind when we go through this series because you're going to really learn the value of both resisting movement and the compression that has upon the body and how great of a strength and conditioning aspect it has.